This video will demonstrate the pump teardown and reassembly of the Blackmer LG1 series pumps. Before working, drain and relieve pressure from the pump. Then use a 1 half inch wrench to loosen the four cap screws, securing the outboard bearing cover. Remove the cover and the gasket that seats inside of it. Discard the gasket. On the shaft end protruding through the head, locate the lock washer and lock nut. Use a small hammer and punch to bend up the engaged lock washer tang. Insert the tip of the punch into one of the open slots of the lock washer. Next, using the hammer to tap the punch lightly, loosen the lock washer and rotate it counterclockwise. Remove it from the shaft. Slide the lock washer off the shaft and inspect it for any damage. Remove the lock washer and the lock nut from the other side of the pump. Clean the portion of the shaft that protrudes through the head, making sure it is free of nicks and burrs that can cause damage to the mechanical seal when the head assembly is removed. Turn the pump around. Use your half-inch wrench to loosen the head cap screws and carefully pry the head away from the cylinder. Then, slide the head off the shaft. Inside the head assembly, you can see the head O-ring, the bearing, and the jacket of the mechanical seal. Set the head assembly to the side. Turn the pump around. On this side of the pump, you can see the rotor turn with the shaft as the shaft is turned. Installed in the rotor are six directional vanes. These vanes are loose inside the rotor assembly. Gently pull the rotor and shaft from the cylinder. As one hand is pulling the shaft, the other hand should be cupped underneath the rotor to prevent the vanes from falling out. Set the rotor, shaft, and vanes to the side. Use your hand to remove the inboard bearing. This will expose the stationary seat as shown here. Using your hand, remove the stationary seat. This part is very hard to remove. Do not use tools to remove the stationary seat as this will damage the assembly. Gently pry a small amount at a time on each side of the stationary seat until it comes loose. Remove the stationary seat, the carbon seal face with the rotating O-ring, and the seal jacket. Set these parts to the side. This completes the pump teardown. The rebuild kit for the Blackmer LG1 series pump contains a seal assembly, a carbon seal face with a rotating O-ring and a seal jacket, the stationary seat with an O-ring already installed, an inboard bearing, six vanes, and the head O-ring. Make sure the pump cylinder is clean and then position it bearing side up. Install the seal jacket into the cylinder. Next, clean the face of the carbon seal and install it into the cylinder. Line up the notches on the carbon seal with the tangs of the seal jacket and make sure the face is properly seated. Then, install a clean stationary seat. Line up the notch on the stationary seat with the pin inside the pump cylinder. Push the seat into the cylinder until it is properly seated on the top of the seal face. After hand packing the bearings, install into the head with the balls facing out. Make sure it seats properly on top of the stationary seat. Now it is time to install the rotor. First, lubricate the shaft with a small amount of grease. Then align the tang holes of the rotor with the tangs of the seal jacket inside the cylinder. Hold the bearing on the back of the cylinder in place with your fingers and install the long end of the shaft first. Slide it into the cylinder until it is properly seated. Hold the rotor in place and use your hand to install the inboard lock nut and lock washer on the back of the cylinder to hand tightness. Then use a hammer and a punch or use Blackmer's lock nut tool to tighten it until you can't turn the rotor anymore as shown here. Next, install the vanes into the rotor. Install the vanes with the open vane slot toward the valve. If installed correctly, the vane slot will be facing the discharge port. The vane slots would be visible when looking into the discharge port. Next, disassemble the head. First, remove the outboard bearing. Then use your hand to remove the stationary seat and its O-ring, the carbon seal face with the rotating O-ring, and the seal jacket. Now, before rebuilding the pump head, it is very important to make sure that everything is very clean. Use alcohol or methanol and a clean towel to clean all part surfaces. Next, install the seal jacket into the outboard head. 
Then, using a small amount of grease, lubricate the O-ring completely and then install it inside the carbon seal face. Use alcohol and a towel to clean the seal face surfaces after installing the O-ring. Next, install the carbon seal face on top of the seal jacket inside the outboard head. Align the slots on the carbon seal face with the tangs on the seal jacket. Again, make sure the stationary seat has been cleaned and that the O-ring is in place on the outside of the seat and then install it on top of the seal face inside the outboard head. There is a notch on the stationary seat. Align the notch with the pin inside the head as shown here. This immobilizes the stationary seat inside the head. Push the seat down into the head until it seats in place on top of the seal face. After hand packing the bearings, install into the head with the balls facing out, making sure that it is seated on the bottom. Now, holding the bearing in place with your fingers, turn the head assembly over and set it on the table. Wipe the head clean with a towel. Lubricate and gently stretch the head o-ring with your hands and install it into place inside the head. The outboard head is now properly rebuilt. Set it aside. Lubricate the outside end of the shaft with a small amount of grease. Install the head into the cylinder with the telltale hole positioned toward the bottom of the pump. The tang holes in the rotor must be aligned with the tangs of the seal jacket inside the head as shown here. Holding the head in place on the cylinder with your hand, install the outboard lock washer and lock nut and hand tighten until the head is snugged against the cylinder. Next, hand tighten the four head bolts into place. Use a small hammer and punch or the lock nut tool to tighten the lock nut until snug. Then use a one half inch wrench to tighten the head bolts down. The seals are now properly seated inside the pump. Now, loosen the lock nuts on both sides of the pump to finger tight. This should allow the rotor to be turned by hand. If it does not turn, loosen the lock nuts a little more. To set the clearance of the pump, start on the outboard side. Use a hammer and punch or Blackmer's lock nut tool to snug up the lock nut again until the rotor can just be turned by hand. Now, switch to the inboard side of the pump. Use the hammer and punch or lock nut tool to tighten the lock nut until the rotor begins to turn with the lock nut as you tap it. Each tang of the lock nut washer represents one thousandth of an inch. Find the closest tang and tighten it to one thousandth of an inch or one tang. Then find the next closest tang and tighten one more thousandth of an inch or one more tang. Check to make sure that the pump is still turning freely. This sets the clearance at center. Now use the punch or tool to bend down the tang to fix the position of the lock nut and lock washer as shown here and do the same on the inboard side. Finally, install the cover into place with the gasket. Hand tighten the cap screws and then use a half inch wrench to tighten to snug. This completes the pump assembly for the Blackmer LG1 series pumps.